Hello everyone, uh, as I promised one week or one week and a half ago that I'm going to show you my pregnancy journal, um, journals actually because I have a few of them, or like pregnancy diaries, um, you can call them whatever you like it more. So yeah, I'm going to show you, so every like I've started with this one, I did really liked it, uh, I had another one but it was so boring i mean uh it, it, the pages inside were quite nice i did really like like what, what it was stating but it didn't really differ from this one maybe just a little bit and uh, that's why that one even if i started to write there more than in this one at some like at the very beginning but then i was just using it like like a draft so basically where I can make mistakes, where I can uh, like scribble something. So, and then I was just putting everything nicely as much as I could <laughs> into this one. Okay, that's the first uh, book I've started with, as I was saying. There was another one, I'm not gonna show it because it's not very like colorful, neat and tidy. So we'll start from the very beginning. So it's called bump to birthday and it's pregnancy and first year journal so here I have all my like ultrasound scans which I'm gonna uh, glue in later on I just don't want to do it now while I'm still writing in it maybe like well I still will be writing in it so maybe just later on I anyway need to buy glue for that so because I don't want to because uh, pictures I put in the corners, like the so I stick corners, so at least you can take it out if you all want to. So yeah, that's how it looks like. Here are about parents. Uh, the page don't really want to go there. That's like finding out. So how we found out. There's some information about families and everything and then it starts from week nine and you basically write down a bit about me and what we've been up to i'm gonna uh, corner pictures here after as i said and then it goes like week to week and after the week 12 there is the 12 week scan so where you can write down everything what you've seen and what they've told you and the same is after week 20 that's when the gender is reveal revealed if you want to know uh, i do find it very nice that they left it uh, that's a shame they didn't left anywhere anywhere anymore because I had more than that, so I had my other ultrasound appointments. So uh, could be left somewhere just randomly, maybe like one page or or two. There were left some some pages like for this kind of notes, like looking forward to the birth, and it says what well, I'm least looking forward to, well most looking forward to. So it's just like you can start thinking about it. Uh, so basically the week looks, uh, typically week looks like this. So all the weeks were pretty much like this. Uh, there was a space for the picture, uh, a bit about you. So that is already like printed. What is happening at this week with the baby inside the, inside the womb. Then you do write a bit about me and then what we have been up to. So I usually write here like how I feel or like my emotions and everything. Basically, yeah, mostly like about me and what we've been up to here, I do write down like what we were doing that week. If not much we've done that week, then I just carry on with in the same way as, as like a bit about me. So I'm just saying like how, how excited I am. Uh, yeah, every second week there is a small window for the sickness, feelings, cravings and weight. It's not that much left as I'm saying. If you will think I'm on week 34, that is this one. And there is like just 40 and then 40 plus. So yeah, that's all what left. That's all what filled. <laughs> that's all what left. And uh, then it's uh, the birth the 
mark the stone of your baby, flowers. Then how I know I was in labor. So what helped during my labor, my biggest surprise on being in labor. And this kind of stuff I do. So a lot of like who cried, who cut the cord, who dressed you, first outfit and what do you know and this one is pretty cool as well because here you write down what was the weather what was the celebrity news sport news world news best-selling books popular music films that they are showing uh, price of, of a few items so just to compare i think it's it's really 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 brilliant like that you can show that to your baby then the first month with the pictures and like some some sort of notes and uh, yeah that's how it goes and it goes and goes and goes there are some gifts you can write down then a few firsts so there is like who bathed you your first bath date of first outing we went to so yeah some few firsts which you can uh, first drunk from a cup, sleeping position, sleep time toys, like you can write down this kind of stuff for your baby because I think it's uh, very cute and it's nice like first Christmas but at the same time as I said I don't think it's really enough like it's not the, such a big section for the first year so there are many many other books and which you can buy and keep going, keep carrying on. Then uh, at some point, at some point, I decided that that book uh, like is, is not really enough because you write down there only like once a week uh, about what happened, how you feel and everything. And I was like, sometimes like uh, in one week there can be like more things uh, happening to you and it's not really enough space because for example when you go like for a scan appointment for for ultrasound scan appointment uh, of course that's that's exactly what you want to write down that week and uh, the rest will happen it's kind of go like stays behind so and I was thinking that that's not how I really want it and that's when I started to to have a diary basically so that's when where i write down every single day about what is happening what happened today some days are boring anyway so some days just left blank but yeah that's when i started to do this one and as i was saying like that's when i started to do a diary i'm not gonna go for that because that's personally my thoughts like and it's a, it's a diary i'm just gonna show you that i took uh pictures from the app of your uh of your pregnancy i do really like it and they write down every day what is happening with the fetus with the baby so that's exactly what i'm writing as well uh we've what i've been i've done that day what happened some days are quite boring so like some days won't be like that much so they won't have so much stuff written there that's for example when i was at work so there was not much i could tell so it was just like a daily routine but i i don't know for those who do like write diaries i highly recommend it because i think it's uh it's quite interesting uh, i will be honest sometimes i don't write every single day here so sometimes i just do it like every week sometimes a couple days so it all really depends uh but yeah i usually do some small notes for myself so to do not forget which date i was doing what if i want to write down it here and yeah then i just dedicate like a few hours to to spend to to do that and of course of course i have one in russian language because i i want our baby to speak two languages english and russian from the very birth so i'll try my best <laughs> um, 
to speak only Russian with her. But yeah, but I think that might help her and that might encourage her at some point to to really learn it or I'm, I'm sure at some point she might be very happy that she she knows how to read Russian because uh, everything here is in Russian and I, and I hope that one day she will be like oh th thanks mom thanks mom for doing that for me yeah and the last one is uh, the yeah my pregnancy book like in Russian in Russian language and it's absolutely DIY book so uh, not this one this one of course is ordered but what is inside what is written inside what is glued inside and everything that that was all done by me so that's how it looks like i'm not gonna show like a lot because i uh, don't really want anyone to read it but it starts from the very beginning the, from the week eight i started to take pictures how I'm, how I'm changing how my body is changing how my belly is growing so yeah at every week and yeah it says the size of as well on the picture which i do really like and then some pictures the same week it's just like how did i look like when we were going out somewhere and uh, yeah i'm not gonna show a lot because I don't really particularly really like everyone, everybody like just to see my pictures because I, I think it's a little bit personal because that's not for everyone. That's a little bit just for my baby. But it's just like as an example, if somebody, I might inspire somebody, hopefully I will because I think it's, it's really, really nice and cute. And I, I, I would do the same again for sure hundred percent again and again I would do that so if you would ask me like would I do it again yes I would that is my first uh, card my husband write it down for me on Mother's Day from from her from a baby of course I know it's not from like originally from her but they do really like it here like the traditions because i was buying him some uh like gifts on the father's day as well from her and now it's this recent week so i haven't done these pictures yet i mean i do have them i just didn't print it now so because i don't see the reason to print like every week just one picture and get it delivered so i'm gonna wait for a few more and yeah and that's it that's how it looks like it's just like free three blank pages left i might just buy another one the second one and uh yeah i will just uh, do we'll just keep carrying on in russian language like the first year pregnancy or for, oh, sorry not pregnancy first year book or first year I call it like I call it photo book. This one, this one is definitely a photo book because it's it's about pictures as well. Yeah, so that's how it looks like, and that's all my notes. And hopefully, someone will get inspired. Just don't be lazy. It doesn't take very long time. It does take a little bit, but not a very long time. And I'm sure your baby will like it and really, really appreciate it after when they will be going through and reading uh, about themselves and as well as reading about how you felt and what did you feel because uh, that that's a good way to pass your emotions to them because uh, later on we forget a lot of stuff we won't be able to remember everything but whatever is written is gonna stay here on the, on a paper and that's how you can pass your memories to your babies so yeah that's it for today and i see you next time bye